Good afternoon, friends and customers. This is Juan Villalba live again in CIMA. It's the third day of CIMA, and we are at the stand of Lumar, right? And we're going to see a quick demonstration of the product right now. Estamos en el stand de Lumar en el tercer día de CIMA, y nos van a dar una demostración eh, breve de cómo se aplica, super, cómo se aplica este producto. Es como un film que lo van a aplicar y nos van a demostrar las. Eh, las propiedades de, de este producto. Not only they are going to apply it, but they are going to show us uh, the properties and the features of this uh, product. Okay, let me give you here. What's your, what was your name? Oh, again? Jacob Otley. Okay, this is Jacob, and we have Larry here, our technician, that is going to give you a quick demonstration. So, can you? Let's get started with the demonstration yep. and what you can tell us about your product. Yeah, sure, exactly. So paint protection film is a urethane-based product. And what it does is it protects your paint from damage caused by like rock chips, surface scratches, um, things like that. And what Larry's about to do is show you how it's installed. So what he just did was spray it down with a mixture of water and uh, baby shampoo. We call it slip solution. Yes. This product has an adhesive on it. So you're going to spray it down. That slip solution is going to allow the product to float. So yes. he can get it in place, and then you'll see him get the product in place, and he'll squeegee it out. He'll squeegee that moisture out from beneath the film, yes. and that's what's going to lock it into place. Okay, lo que le está explicando acá en este momento es que este film le, le dan una capa eh, de agua y jabón, ¿no? Que eso crea... Eh, eh, that, that, that creates like a seal, a vacuum, so that all the air yeah, the gets out, right? Yeah, exactly. The first one was baby shampoo uh, mm -hmm. and water. It's slip solution. He uh -huh. just sprayed straight water there to kind of push some of that soap out. Uh -huh. That way he could tack that corner in place. Okay. So he's explaining here that he's putting the water with the shampoo that they put the baby shampoo for the baby. Water with shampoo for the baby to create that solution. And that creates like a vacuum so that they can apply it. Y ahora lo está aplicando en todo, en todo producto. We call this a, what he's installing here is what we would call like a partial hood. So it's just uh -huh. the, the front leading edge, just for demonstration purposes. Correcto. But the Correcto. good thing about the film is you can put it wherever you want. So you could do a partial, you could do a full hood, you could do your entire front end, you could do your entire car. Yeah. Um, the product comes in a gloss clear, which is what this is. We yeah. also have it in a flat matte finish. And we also have a black paint protection film. That looks cool. That's really, really cool. And when he's done, what we'll do is we'll show you the self-healing quality of paint protection film. So it's a layer of protection, obviously, to protect your paint against rock chips. Uh -huh. um, but if it gets scratched, dirt, salt, sand, those surface swirl marks, yeah. um, if you apply heat, it'll actually heal those scratches out of the surface. Oh, that's cool. Yep. So lo que está aplicando ahora es que este producto no solamente eh, protege la pintura eh, de, ¿cómo es esto? De, del daño que se le puede crear en el en la ruta, pero también tiene la propiedad de cerrarse solo, ¿no? Como que se cura solo, como que se cierra solo si tiene, eh, si tiene rayones y ese tipo de cosas, eh, con un poco de calor eh, se cierran las cosas. Que también quería ver eso y quería, bueno, mostrarles a ustedes eh, las propiedades de este tipo de productos que se están ofreciendo aquí eh, en SEMA, ¿no? No es que le esté queriendo ver nada porque después de todo no vendo, <ríe> pero entender un poco el producto. One of the great benefits about this product is it gives you all of those protective qualities, but Lumar Valor also gives you ceramic coating-like qualities. So yeah. it's self-healing, it, it's uh, protection against rock chips, but it's also very hydrophobic. It's got yeah. intense gloss, and that surface, because it's so hydrophobic, is really easy to clean. So you're getting basically all the protection and benefits you would normally get from a ceramic coating all in one product. Good, good. Bueno, lo que me está explicando es que este producto también tiene las propiedades de, un, de las capas de cerámica, ¿no? Se ve muy bien. And he's about done here. It's just a couple of those edges. He's just going to uh, bump those edges with a squeegee and a towel to kind of soak up some of that moisture. And then we'll clean off a surface and we'll show you that self-healing. Ok. Ahora van a terminar de aplicarlo. Y nos van a mostrar, nos van a mostrar las, eh, cómo, cómo hace para, que, para evitar los rayones. No para evitarlos, no, no, perdón, sino cómo hace para... Eh, 
Oh, uh, me, me estaban hablando. Ven, ahí tienen. So he's gonna take Ven a wire brush. This, un... this simulates dirt, salt, sand scratches. So your surface floor marks. And Lo ven ahí a... las marcas. Ese he's es un cepillo de alambre. Le ven todas las rayones que le hizo. So. So this heat gun is going to simulate ambient heat. So heat from the sun, heat from the motor, and the panel warming. And as he puts heat to those scratches, you're going to see them self heal out the surface. Wow. So ahí le está aplicando calor, que vendría a ser calor natural, nada más. Si vos ves como inmediato, ustedes ven como inmediatamente todas las rayas se fueron. Wow. This is cool. This is really cool. You can see as well. Let's see how hydrophobic the surface uh -huh. is. Y le ven ahí la capacidad eh, hidrofóbica del producto. Well, thank you very much for your time. Sure. It's a cool product. Thank you. Really wanted to see it working and all the scratching and all that. That's a, that is actually pretty cool. And you can see no scratches on it anymore. And you can put this on the whole car, right? Yes, you can apply it anywhere on the car that you'd like, any painted surface. We have uh, pre-cut patterns to where an installer can cut the pattern that, that fits your vehicle. Um, and yeah, you can apply partial, fulls, entire vehicle coverage. It's really up to the uh, car owner. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Sure. And well, let's get going. Thank you, everybody. And again, this is uh, on the hall, on this East Hall at SEMA. Okay, thank you everyone, and let's check this awesome McLaren that you have here. Vamos a ver este McLaren que tiene acá. Que la verdad es una verdadera belleza. Veamos. Yes, Mary, that's a nice paint. It really is. I really was curious about the, that demonstration, so I saw a video over there uh, on the screen that they have, and they were scratching uh, the car crazy, like crazy, right? And I said, well, I, I gotta check it out. <laughs> I got, I had to get the guys to show it to me. But look at this McLaren, it's just beautiful. Okay, this car is all coated with the product that they sell, right? And the shine is phenomenal. I have to admit, it looks phenomenal. And this McLaren, again, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Este McLaren está precioso, es una verdadera belleza. Y bueno, está también eh, protegido con el producto que esta, que esta gente vende aquí, la verdad. Muy bueno. Bueno, sigamos. Sigamos caminando, sigamos caminando. Vamos a ver. Let's keep walking. Show. That was a quick demonstration of something that I found really interesting that I actually wanted to share with you. So, let me show you here. I know customized is not necessarily about high performance cars or the modern cars specifically, but this Lamborghini looks just gorgeous. Have to show it as well. And is it is it the stand of closet? Is in the stand of closet here in the West Hall? La verdad. Oops. Right. It's a little crowded here. <laughs> Been bumping into people. <laughs> We're going to be putting liquid ceramic glass on this at one to four. So it just. Okay. Yeah, in an hour. In an hour. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be putting some product on this uh, vehicle as a demonstration in about an hour. So, but let me show you something that I saw here that is just mind boggled my mind. Again, look at this Bugatti, just gorgeous. It is at the, it is at the stand of Expel Fusion, fusion Ceramic uh, Coating. The vehicle is just, oh my God, just gorgeous. Look at the color. Miren el color de este vehículo, está precioso, este Bugatti. Es una verdadera belleza. Vamos a verlo de atrás. Let's turn around and see it from behind. He's got an Audi's on his own because the car is just gorgeous. Let's see the interior. If I can see it from here without the glare. I can hardly see much with the glare on it. 
again, this is a Bugatti Divo. Let's see the back of it. Look at that. This gorgeous. It's a beautiful car. Sorry about it. It's kind of hard. There's a lot of people around. <laughs> Can hardly, what, can, can hardly see the vehicle. Oh, well, there we go. This is a phenomenal drive, phenomenal car. Oops. Looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. Let's keep walking. Looks like today is supercar day. Hopefully, we'll see a few classic cars around, a, a few custom cars. Oh, let me see. I think uh, I think I see something down there. Down there. Let me see. Let's keep walking. Bear with me a minute. This is what it is. Walking the aisles down at SEMA. You can see a lot of companies showcasing the products. In this area, I see that there are a lot of ceramic coating companies. Wow. What is this? Let me see. I swear I saw something cool right there. Oh, that, that's what it was. Let me let me show you the truck that WD-40 brought in. I was looking from the other side and I saw that thing. It was like, what is that? <laughs> Look at all the patina, the rust. Is this painted? Don't tell me it's painted. <laughs> I, I will say the appropriate look for WD-40. But, is it painted? Is it painted? It's all paint, yep. It's all paint. And then in back, it's a dually. So not a lot of people notice right away, but it's a dual. You can go back and check okay. it underneath. It's a four-link rear end on coilovers. Okay, this is a dually. And well, and it's all paint. I thought it was all patina, but let's see. Oops, sorry. Holy cow! <laughs> Thank you. I'm I've been hitting everybody today. <laughs> Mira lo que es este vehículo de doble Discovery. Miren acá. Wow. No, no te das cuenta de que tiene eh, doble eje. De afuera no se nota, pero de abajo, si te, si te agachas lo ves y te das cuenta que es un doble eje. Es un fenómeno. Oh my, look at that. I thought it was all patina, but no. That's paint. But talking about paint. Talking about paint, look at that over there. Hablando de pintura, ¿no? Vamos a ver qué es lo que, lo que hay acá. My favorite car of all, the one that I want to have, the convertible version, of course. Look at this Lincoln Continental, it's just, oh my God, it's so cool. This is so cool. This is a very cool car. Look at the colors. Oh my God, this is so cool. Let me show you the interior with do both doors open. Oh my, can I take it for a ride? <laughs> well, he wanted to know if I had questions. <laughs> okay, we are uh, LC Power Tools at their booth. And this is what they brought here today. Well, not today. Well, uh, for the show, right? Estamos en el stand de LC Power Tools. Y este es el vehículo que trajeron para exhibir. Y adentro está precioso. Look at this interior. This is so cool. So you're doing a demonstration right there? Let's see. So what is it that you're demonstrating here? 
It's the so, bat and the... Uh, correct, yeah. So the car was uh, wet sanded uh, when it came into the show. Okay. Uh, Javi over here is doing the using the Eidos 51E polisher. Uh, it's a multi-tool, basically has three different functions. Okay, can it. you repeat that? <laughs> oh, he's using the uh, Eidos 51E. Um, it's like a multi-tool. It has the, the rotary standard and then it has the, the orbital. Uh, yes. with multiple functions basically as you change from uh, the p1 setting to the p2 or p3 it'll change the yeah. the stroke of the of the uh the tool so you can use it instead of having three different tools you can have the one and change out your pads to get everything taken care of oh, so uh, during okay. the show he's taken it from this wet sanded finish to the show shine yeah um, so by friday it'll be the full uh show quality finish so, okay so you got right here yeah, you can finish see, yeah you can see the 3000 and then you can see where he's polished and this is what sounded me 3000 right you Correct. said yeah he went uh, uh up to when we got it here he had it at eight and then he finished with one two and three thousand uh and yeah. then he started with the polishing pad uh you can see the epic kit from malco down here yeah uh, that's the uh products that he's using uh, on the vehicle okay uh, along with the uh the lc power tools uh edos 51e this is phenomenal it looks great thank you thank you uh, we did all the interior yes. about a two years on the restoration um so you've been excellent sorry no worries no worries so you so it's a 1966 lincoln continental about two years on the restoration uh everything in-house the interior we lasered all of the dash stuff that you saw earlier when he did the interior. Yeah. Uh, all that's built in-house. Uh, the uh, gear selector, the clock, all of that stuff was rebuilt in-house. Um, everything's been refinished. Nothing really cut on the car. It's using the uh, Ride Tech Air Ride suspension, um, yeah. just like a shock relocation. And then you can go all the way down. Small trim in the front fits perfect. Uh, retro belts on the inside. Um, excess power, k &N. Uh, we also have um, the uh, folk house speakers in the doors that you can't see. We wanted to keep that factory look. Yeah. Uh, those panels are something that's going to be available on our website uh, when we get everything set up. So. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Look at that. Bueno, ven ahí. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, lo siento, muchacho. No voy a poderle tra traducir todo lo que dijo. Pues. Dijo un montón en un poco de tiempo. En muy poco tiempo, pero bueno. Están... Esta gente trae eh, esta herramienta, ¿no? La pulidora. Parece que la pulidora tiene diferentes discos que lo puedes poner uno arriba del otro. Bueno, y esto lo, lo lijaron esta mañana con lija de 3000 y ahora lo están puliendo, ¿ves? Pero miren el vehículo, vamos a ver, vamos a verlo de vuelta todos lados, pues está precioso. Now, let's back out a little bit and show you the vehicle, which is, you know, really, really nice. It's a really beautiful Lincoln Continental, 1966, he said. Es un, eh, es un Lincoln Continental de 1966. Está precioso el interior. Me estaba contando, lo hicieron todos ellos. Está precioso. a very beautiful car really well put together super nice look at this oops look at the stance this stance is just great it's phenomenal great looking car this is a great looking car my my i do dig the colors i like look at the tires holy cow that red line around the tires is phenomenal the wheels and everything that is beautiful it's just a beautiful beautiful car i'm digging the style uh, a lot this is this is an amazing car now let's keep, I'm sorry, <laughs> let's keep walking. Hopefully I don't run into more people anymore. <laughs> Vamos a seguir caminando. Pues espero que no, espero no empujar a nadie más. Pero bueno, este es un, 
Esto es como se ve Sema usualmente. Si venís al show, te vas a encontrar gente por todos lados, stands. Oh, ¿y está? Da, dice Pagani Wire. Y es, es. And it's all open. She's almost bare naked for us to see inside. Let's check it out. Miren este Pagani Guaira. Está abierto por todos lados. Vamos a verlo en detalle. Oh. Look at this interior. I know, right? It's, It's crazy. killer. Yeah. Look at this. This interior is just phenomenal. Let me see the console. Let me show you the the console again. Look at those cages. Holy cow. It's a phenomenal car. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Wow. This is the first time I see a Pagani wire open up like that, like this, right? You can see everything. She's showing us all the secrets, all her secrets. <laughs> Let's go on this side. Let's check the other. Oh my God, look at that. Let's see, let's go inside and check the other side of the console because this console is just gorgeous. This is a really nice. Our surround recording is clear. So unlike all the other stuff that's like more like Cerakote, yeah. it has like that, that texture to it. It's the ugly ass color. And look at this other one right here, this Conisary. My, my. The, this, this booth is jam packed. Everybody wants to see this car just while getting a glimpse. Maybe I'll come in later when there's nobody here so I can look at him again. <laughs> I can hardly see the car. <laughs> so many people around taking pictures. Me included. <laughs> Tanta gente alrededor queriendo ver estos vehículos que no se puede creer. Yo incluido, incluido también. Yo estoy incluido. Oh, qué bárbaro. Bueno, sigamos. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking the show. Let's see what else can we find. My, my. Look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> wow. This is a real nice, a real nice car. But let's see, let's keep, keep going, let's keep going. Let's see what else can we see around here. Again. We are live, SEMA 2021 at the Las Vegas Convention Center on the West Hall. Uh, this hall is just, uh, it's, it's fairly new, right? This, all this area is new, it wasn't here around, it, was, it wasn't here in 2019. This, all this area is being added recently. So it's like, it expanded. And it exploded, basically. There are so many, so many exhibitors around. So many things to see that I can hardly concentrate on one thing to show at a time. But I'm trying to figure out, oh my, look at those Hummers. Oh, this was the Hummer CV. Holy cow. These are the new Hummers. My God, they're cool. 
They're really good looking. Very aggressive. But look at that. Huh. Never seen this here. So I guess they made this EV kind of rally style, rally style or Baja style or let's see. Let me see. What does it say? Right there is the CGR Hummer EV Extreme E. Oh. Huh. You can see it's been running in the desert and everything. Wow. Even in my native Argentina, they've been in Patagonia racing it. Huh. This is cool. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep, again, all these areas, all truck, all trucks off-road. All off-roading. My, my. Okay, I think, uh, let's walk around this. I, th I think I saw something really cool while I was walking this aisle. Just it's so big. This place is so big. There's so many things to see that you get lost <laughs> easily. One thing that you see in one aisle, and then you you walk the next aisle and you just lost it. It's just incredible. This place is just phenomenal. Okay, guys. I wanted. To, I thought I saw really cool rides all the way back there, but on the corner of my eye. But I, I think I missed them. Yep, I think I did. Well, I think I probably have to back paddle and go and look at what they had over there because I really see. So if I see him back, I'm uh, sure you guys are going to show you what I found because it was really cool. Look at that. That's still really cool. Look at this Jeep. I mean, well, I can hardly get around. <laughs> A lot of people just keep keep popping up of every, out of everywhere. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, my friends, I'll have to leave you right now because it's gotten a little bit crowded and can hardly concentrate on showing anything. That's it. I'll, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, keep an eye out. I'm going to be live uh, in a little bit later. Take care and thank you, my friends.